today we are gonna walk Phoenix City South Riverwalk. The river is high, it just got done raining yesterday. Ooh, it's cold. Harp sculptures on on the river walk. Creepy. But it's art. I guess.
relics of the old dam that they blew up to let the river flow naturally. There used to be water all up under this bridge. Now it's a disc golf. Um. Disc golf course, courses. Danger, overflowing water. That used to be a spillway right there. This historic marker talks about the Native Americans that lived here. And the Creek or Muscogee Indians. And it talks about the river serpent that people <laughs> That people, they say when people go in there, they get drove down by the river surfers and die. So it's not a good idea to go in the water. But this bridge recently just got finished probably two years ago because it floods really bad often. So it was really rot rotten. Oop, black cat. They allow you to come down here on the river, on the rocks. In the summertime, you gotta be careful for snakes. Hopefully it's not slippery. A lot of people fish out here though. Is very high. They call this rapid clickbait. It's a class four rapid. I went down it once. It was very, it was fun, but scary. It's not clickbait. It's something bait. I forgot what it was. The water is very high. You used to could walk a little bit out that way. The dam is releasing the water. But it's very beautiful out here. I think the historical marker said that the Indians used to these puddles, fishes get trapped in these little rocks and they would eat them. But we are in the Piedmont region where there's a lot of exposed granite. It's called the fall line of the Piedmont or the Ancient shores used to meet the ancient mountains. It's 
trying to hurry up so I don't run out of battery on my GoPro. Cause I'm shooting in 4K. <laughs> My beautiful hometown, Columbus, Georgia. Look, erosion of the trees roots. pretty high when it floods the water comes all the way up here There used to be little islands out there in the water where those trees are. They're completely underwater. It's kind of impossible to swim through that. Rush South Whitewater Park. Oh, the Thai snake. This section of the river inhabited by a giant Thai snake, a mythical monster that snared the unwary and dragged them down to the watery underground. Basically, a lot of people died trying to swim in this river. This is uh, the zip line course. Once you get to the Phoenix City side of the river, it's like an obstacle course. I never, I haven't done it yet, but maybe now that I got a GoPro, I could document it. 
and maybe I can find some friends who aren't scary to come with me. Another zip line, another obstacle course through the trees. It's probably gonna be so much fun. This the second part, second section. I think it's like $60 to do the whole course. Wow. Forgot the name of this creek, but yeah, it's pretty flooded. On the Alabama side of the river, there's a place for you to put your boat out in the water. And this is where this couple of Indians were hanged. You can pause the video, but they, uh, they hung two Indians here and they believe that's why the river has been cursed. You climb back up that tower and go back across the river to the Columbus side. That's the Phoenix City uh, Courthouse. And people park here to go fishing. And that's the amphitheater. A lot of concerts, jazz festivals, church festivals go on at the Phoenix City Amphitheater.
This marker says the Confederates set fire to the lower bridge, Dillingham Bridge, when it was a wooden bridge. But basically this is the end of the Phoenix City side of the river walk. About to go back across to the Columbus side. The full Columbus side is 14 miles from Lake Oliver to Fort Benning. And it'll take a whole day to walk the entire length because I've done it before and I need to buy more battery packs if I'm going to do a video footage of that. Yeah, but this, this bridge was built by Horace King, an ex-slave who built a lot of bridges over the Chattahoochee River in Georgia. The mighty Chattahoochee River. It's a railroad bridge. But basically at the railroad bridge is the last navigable, nav navigable part of the Chattahoochee River for big boats. But not that many boats come, <laughs> come up the river anymore. But back in the Civil War, it was tons of boats to get to the mills, to get the cotton up here for the textile mills. the Columbus side is more beautiful than the Phoenix City side. Just more economic See us in front of us the CSU theater arts and musical campus. I'll shoot another video for downtown Columbus. A lot of history. Look at the artwork. This is called Woodruff Park. But thanks for watching part two of the Phoenix City Riverwalk section. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks.